the world is entering its fourth industrial revolution, often called Industry 4.0. And while Western countries ruled the first three industrial revolutions, the economies that will dominate the 4.0 world is yet to be determined. The future's up for grabs. Industry 4.0 is driven by a digitally connected world. In the emerging 4.0 world, people are connected not only to each other, but also to each other's knowledge. Constant innovation. An interesting byproduct of this knowledge explosion is the days of the all-knowing, all-seeing manager are over. Knowledge workers today are often more aware of the emerging opportunities than their managers are. No, managers have not gotten dumber, rather employees have gotten smarter, or at least better educated. Organizations are now filled to the brim with highly educated knowledge workers. That's a key difference between now and the first industrial revolution when our current management systems were invented. The 4.0 world requires a very different approach to leadership, an approach we call 4.0 leadership. Leadership. The ability to find, attract, and recruit 4.0 leaders is going to be the differentiator for winning organizations in the 4.0 world. To be successful in a 4.0 world, organizations will now need to evaluate their managers not only on the basis of what they've delivered, but also on the readiness of their teams to deliver in an unknown future. Here's the big insight. Winning in the fourth industrial revolution is not about speed. It's about non-stop strategic change which constantly advances the organization towards its stated goals. So what does a 4.0 leader look like? For starters, they understand how to build a culture that will draw out and maximize their people's creative energies. Moreover, they never allow their organization to rest. They understand that success in the ever-changing 4.0 world requires an organization to be like the fabled tortoise, constantly moving forward, never stopping, never resting. And so the 4.0 leader is constantly developing, challenging, and strengthening their organization's change muscle. The goal in recruiting is to find the best talent period. Recruiting. Hiring a 4.0 leader who's not looking for work is not about money. Shocking, but true. 4.0 leaders will come to an organization not to make more money. They'll come because they see an opportunity to devote themselves to something they see as deeply meaningful and worthy of their time. A key and somewhat frustrating takeaway from previous industrial revolutions is that it takes organizations about 40 to 50 years to realize that the world has changed and that business as usual will no longer work. If past industrial revolutions are any indication, it seems the guiding principle for many organizations will be, I will not see beyond what I have known. Given that the fourth industrial revolution got underway around the turn of the 21st century, and if past patterns repeat themselves, then it will be somewhere between 2040 and 2050 before organizations and mass get their heads around the challenges of the 4.0 world. And for the few that get it now, they have a very large playing field all to themselves. The book. Revolutions Need Leaders is a guide to preparing for and successfully navigating the 4.0 world. In it, the authors share a 4.0 leadership model, a model that lays out the key behaviors and attributes of successful 4.0 leaders, a framework for finding and recruiting 4.0 leaders, and an approach for measuring a leader's performance in the 4.0 world, an approach which measures both current and future performance.